All right, folks, so today I'm going to teach you how to make an Adobe Spark page. So essentially, Adobe Spark page helps you create what I call interactive essays. Interactive essays uh, are similar to the standard written essay that you might compose your standard five-paragraph essay. Intro, a couple of body paragraphs, and then finally a conclusion that wraps everything up, that wraps up your argument, what you're trying to say, what you're trying to convey to an audience. Uh, but rather, we're going to change that up a little bit. We're going to use all multimedia tools available to us um, uh, to make an argument. And essentially, that'll be uh, assignment specific. You have in Canvas the uh, specific assignment that I'd like you to pursue here. Basically, what this video is meant to do is it's meant to function as a how-to video on how to use this specific tool. Um, we're lucky enough at Clemson to have uh, the entire Adobe Creative Cloud at our disposal. We're going to use quite a few uh, Adobe software programs throughout this semester to uh, supplement our creative repertoires. Today we're going to use um, a uh, program called Adobe Spark Post that helps us make interactive essays. Adobe Spark Post is great for a number of reasons. The first one is that uh, Adobe Spark Post is entirely free, uh, even for uh, people not affiliated, say, with Clemson or people who don't pay for the Adobe Creative Cloud. So basically, when you graduate in a couple of years, you'll be able to use this tool. So it's a skill that you can uh, keep with you. Essentially, uh, it almost can, in a, uh, I would say at times, uh, Adobe Spark Post can look like uh, a PowerPoint, but it's a, a smoother, more visually appealing PowerPoint. I'll show you quickly um, a couple of Spark pages that I've made in the past. Now, these are not going to look like the assignment that you are assigned for class, but uh, rather, this is just something that I made for other purposes, for a, for a talk I gave a couple of months ago. But um, you'll see this is the home page. This is what I could edit right now if I wanted to. And you'll see a variety of images, lots of writing, lots of screenshots. Um, you know, this is all, all writing, which you'll have to do um, for, for this particular assignment. You see I can link outside. I can include some pictures, some images. I could have included a caption here. I chose not to. It wasn't necessary. I have a Works Cited page at the end. Pretty straightforward, but you'll see when I go into the present mode, it looks a lot nicer. So this is the beginning. You'll see this almost looks like a PowerPoint, but this is what I would call an interactive essay or a visual essay, using all of the multimedia tools available to me that I have at my disposal to make an argument, to convey something to an audience. Uh, so this is the writing slide. This is an image, a picture that I had to upload manually. I, um, you know, this is some writing that you you might include. Um, you don't, it, for your particular purposes here, you don't need to outline session goals. Um, but you'll you'll have your own uh, writing there. But basically, you'll see it's much smoother. This is an image that I uploaded. Um, then I have my own writing, a question. Yours will look a lot different than this. But see, you can use lots of color. You can link to outside. Um, you know, in this case, this is a Google Doc that I just use a tiny URL for for the purposes of this talk. Um, but I think you get the gist. So we will uh, leave that alone. I don't. I guess I don't need to show you a second one. But basically, uh, uh, we'll now begin the kind of the how to uh, make an Adobe Spark post. Basically, to make an interactive essay, you're going to want to start. This is just a photo uploading website called Pixabay. I've linked them uh, a couple of spaces in Yellow Dig as well as in um, the the Canvas uh, assignment prompt. But there are a bunch of websites where you can find free Creative Commons uh, pictures and videos and sounds if you wanted to add use those to supplement your uh, interactive essay that you'll make uh, over the coming week. But basically, to begin, the first thing you're going to want to do is to, uh, you can really just Google Adobe Spark Post. So when you Google Adobe Spark Post, it's going to um, give you a, an ad for, as the, the opening result, but you're going to just want to go to the second, the second um, result. Uh, so it's HTTPS um, spark.adobe.com. So if you click on spark.adobe.com, it'll take you, well, all right, so ignore what it did for me because I'm already logged in. So if you click Adobe, um, spark.adobe.com, this is the home screen. What, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to log in. So you'll see over here is the login screen. When you click login, it'll take you to this screen. What you're going to want to do is you're going to find either um, find login with your school account. Really what you're doing is you're using um, your enterprise ID that you get free through Clemson. Not free, but you all, you all pay a nice amount of money for uh for this opportunity for these resources and tools. But anyways, that's beside the point. You're going to want to find uh, login with your school account or alternatively um, login with your enterprise ID, depending on which options the um, online interface prompts you with. But so once you get here, uh, login with your uh, enterprise ID or your school ID, you're going to have to 
uh, type in your Clemson information. But it's really important. So you'll see that I have two options that pop up here on my, partic my particular screen. These obviously won't pop up for you. Um, but typically, you might use the G in your um, you know, uh, email at g.clemson.edu. For all Adobe products, it's really important that you remember not to use that G. You need to just use at clemson.edu. The G will not be recognized within this, these particular interfaces. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Make sure that you do that. Mine is uh, jdrich at uh, clemson.edu. I put that in. What this will do, it's going to redirect you to iROR. You're going to have to type in your Clemson iROR password. Mine auto automatically logs in because I'm logged into iROR right now. But um, make, sure that you use that. make sure that you do not use the G. Use your, your typical um, Clemson information as if you were logging into iROR, as if you were checking Canvas. And it should be pretty straightforward. Now, once you get into the Adobe Spark post um, interface, um, what you're going to want to do, you'll see I have a, a variety of um, projects in motion that I've used uh, this, this program for in the past. What you're going to want to do, though, you'll see your information up here. Um, but up in the top center, where, where uh, my finger, where my, my cursor is, click that, click that blue arrow, you'll get this option. You'll see that Adobe Spark lets you make videos, lets you make graphics. We're going to use the graphics in a, a couple of days, or a couple of weeks, possibly. Um, but right now, what we want are web pages. So go up to the middle, click the blue arrow, then you're going to click web pages. What I'm going to recommend, you'll see they give you a bunch of um, templates or models or prompts. I'm going to recommend you don't use any of them. You just go to the first one and make your own Spark page because Spark is not complex. Um, you can just click start from scratch in the top right corner if you'd like. But you'll see there are a variety of um, templates available for you. But we're going to start from scratch. We're going to start from the bottom up, excuse me. Uh, so press um, start from scratch. You see it gives you this pretty bland looking screen. We're going to type in, in um, I'll say, uh, technical writing in, uh, in writing studies. As my title, I'm going to add rhetoric and writing studies because really what I study is rhetoric, although you think I could spell it right. Um, I also study writing, but mostly I study rhetoric, how people persuade others, how people um, uh, communicate to others. So technical writing and rhetoric and writing studies will be my title. I will write my name in. Um, usually always good to identify yourself as being part of Clemson University. Creates your ethos, creates your brand. Um, all right, so I, I went ahead and got a bunch of um, photos ahead of time uh, in preparation for this video. You're going to have to go and find those photos. Remember, I linked them on the assignment prompt. I've linked them on Yellowdig. Um, use Creative Commons stuff if you can. Creative Commons just means that you don't really need to credit anyone or that it's it's free and you're able to use it for any purpose whatsoever. Uh, if you do use videos, photos, um, anything that's not Creative Commons or that uh, really anything that, that needs to be cited, you should include a Works Cited page at the end of this. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but you should have a References page or a Works Cited page. But you'll see, uh, you can click right here. This You can add a photo. I recommend using photos for just about every slide. You're going to you're gonna have to include a certain level of writing, a couple thousand words. Uh, but um, yeah, include photos, include the, take advantage of the visual aspect of the interactive essays. So I'm going to click Upload Photo. I recommend you don't use any of these options. It's just a lot of hassle. Don't, uh, don't, don't find free photos inside of the actual Adobe Spark post page. Uh, rather go outside for them, upload them to, to your computer, and, uh, and go from there. So I chose a bunch of these um, photos. Most of them have to do with photography or uh, digital media, cell phones of some sort, because that's really what I focus on personally. So you see, all of a sudden, I have this really nice opening page. I think this could pass as me, possibly. But um, uh, all right, so uh, we then um, have the option to, this says, scroll and start viewing your story, start writing your story. We're going to start with some text. We can say, what is... What is technical communication in rhetoric and writing studies? And then perhaps you might, uh, as a writer completing this project, write a bunch of words, write your small little essay, um, and uh, answer that question, something along those lines. You might benefit, though, moving forward from, again, uh, engaging the interactive and visual uh, aspect of what um, an interactive essay is. So you might upload another image. Let's go with this one I really like of a cell phone in a crowd. 
you'll see that when you upload an image, at least the second one, you can um, choose to fill the screen. It'll look like this. You can add a caption. Let's see. We'll add uh, capturing, uh, capturing nature, capturing humans, capturing life, something corny like that. And uh, this picture is a little bit blurry. I wouldn't recommend using blurry photos. Maybe it's intentionally that way, but uh, really it's beside the point. Uh, but anyways, it looks okay. Looks like an okay front page. You, you can choose a focal point if you want, if you want to move the focal point around. But anyways, uh, probably not really necessary right here. Um, let's see. What else? What other options do we have? So as you move forward, you can do cool things like split the layout. So that gives you the opportunity to have two images. I'll do this one. I really like the color in this image. And over here, you can upload, say, um, some text. I can create a heading. You know, you'll add something intelligent in there. Um, and then we can move on. We can put a video in. So you can link from YouTube right here. So I can put, uh, I believe, yeah, this is our course syllabus video just as a uh, placeholder. Um, then we can just keep going. Click at the bottom. Click the split layout again, which I really like. We can just go with some images here. Upload some pictures. Uh, I really like this one. And let's see. I really like this photo that I found. Where is it? I really like this photo. So um, it makes it smaller for you to give a caption, but you can, of course, change that and make it larger. Uh, all right. Um, let's see. I do recommend that you experiment, play around with Adobe Spark page. It's very simple. It's very um, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I'm entering the uh, actual show. What you're going to want to do is uh, send this, uh, submit this assignment in Canvas as a link. You'll see it looks much better. I, I spent you know five minutes on this and already this is a thousand times better than any PowerPoint could ever be. Contains way more information and communicates it in a much better, more smoother way. Um, Anyway, so if you have questions on Adobe Spark page, it should be pretty straightforward, but I'm always available. I've already conferenced and uh, uh, talked with a number of you with about half the class or so. If we haven't done so already, I'm uh, looking forward to getting to know you over the course of the semester. Keep up the good work on Yellow Dig. If you have any issues, questions, concerns, those can always be directed to me. My email is jdrichd at g.clemson.edu. Um, otherwise, have a great week. These are due uh, on Monday at 3 p.m. Enjoy. Experiment with this. Have fun. This is meant to be a, a learning experience. It's meant to be learning by doing. It's meant to be learning by making. You're going to have a tangible um, outcome, a tangible kind of text in your hand or, say, in your digital repertoire at the end of this project. Um, we always learn by doing. I've always found um, lecturing does not help for my particular learning style, but you're going to learn to make something. Keep these skills with you. Use them. After you graduate, use them. Classes next semester, next year, two years from now. Um, all right. Enjoy.